Hello guys, good evening to all. This is Mike Padua from Naga City, Philippines, bringing you the very latest here in the Philippines and the Western Pacific for this uh, Sunday to Tuesday, September 15 to 17, 2024. This is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. At bago tayo magsimula, gusto kong pasalamatan ang ating partners, ang Aboytis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. Yung interested, click lang po ang link dito. Or uh, kapag kayo po ay nanood sa Facebook channel, meron pong link doon sa description patungo sa BPI Sustainable with you. At isa sa mga pinakamagandang hotel sa Rion Bicol at ng Naga City, ang Avenue Plaza Hotel. Ang lokal na gobyerno ng Naga City headed by ang Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion at ang ating Honorable Congressman ng ikatlong distrito ng Kamakinisur, Congressman Gabby Bordado. And let's begin with our update. We have uh, a low pressure system. Actually, there are two LPAs which we mentioned uh, during our last video that may develop east of the country and it's now happening. We have uh, LPA 98W forming rapidly to the east of uh, Isabella roughly 400 kilometers away and uh, we have another one here which is already a tropical depression by the joint uh, which is already a tropical depression by the uh, japan meteorological agency and as of this time they already upgraded it into a tropical storm we're going to show to you later the latest on lpa 97w which is still an lpa based on the joint typhoon warning center since the system is yet to organize the low level circulation. Okay, it's not yet fully organized. And uh, look at that, the wide swath of the monsoon trough being uh, monsoonal winds to the south of this line. And uh, it's uh, all the way from uh, Guam across the Philippine Islands. We have the southwest monsoon uh, affecting south of uh, Luzon. And uh, this uh, active one, LPA 98W, is likely to develop before or after crossing northern Luzon because that's what the European model are saying. They, because that's uh, what the uh, ACMWF or the European model is saying that it will traverse northern Luzon within the next 48 hours. So this is likely to bring heavy rains across Cagayan Valley beginning tomorrow or even at this time the trough is already bringing rain showers and thunderstorms across Cagayan and it's likely to uh, bring more rains by uh, tomorrow Monday to uh, roughly maybe uh, up to Wednesday and the southwest monsoon will continue to prevail across uh, the southern portions or southern half of the Philippine Islands that includes western and uh, northern Mindanao, northern Caraga, Sulu Archipelago, Visayas, Mimaropa, Bicol region, uh, Calabar zone including Metro Manila. So watch out for on and off rainfall and thunderstorms in between these cloudy conditions. And there might be some sunshine that could uh, 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 appear across the Bicol region tomorrow but in between uh, during the afternoon or evening there might be passing rain showers and thunderstorms because of this developing uh, low pressure system the barometric pressure across Luzon up to the area of Mindanao is ranging from 1000 millibars down to 1000 uh, up to 1002 so there's also this is a sign that the system is uh, really active the monsoon trough that's why we have a very low atmospheric pressure uh, similar to the level of a tropical depression but again we are going to observe this for the possible development into tropical depression so likely if this is uh, going to intensify it will be known locally as uh, hener and this one the tropical depression west of Guam will also if it does enter the Philippine air responsibility in the coming days this will become Helen so we will keep you updated on the uh, progress of this weather systems by the way Bibinka 
uh, with local name Ferdy, is set to make landfall over metropolitan Shanghai uh, sometime tomorrow morning, Monday. So please take all necessary precautions, those uh, Filipino community or those Filipinos that are watching us from Shanghai, China. We have here LPA 96W. It's uh, some sort of a hybrid uh, uh, upper level low, which likes to uh, form over the, uh, I mean, below the, uh, the uh, which likes to uh, become a tropical cyclone, but it's uh, currently dissipating. And this one push through anymore. So here's the uh, fast animation from uh, cyclonicwx.com or cyclonicweather.com. And you could see here the uh, robust uh, uh, monsoon trough from the West Philippine Sea all the way across the Philippine Islands up to the uh, east of Marianas. So here's now the uh, tropical depression here. We have here, and then here's the uh, next one that could become Henner. And here's uh, Bevinka, fast approaching metropolitan Shanghai. So here's the uh, zoom in uh, satellite animation for you to see uh, the status of the LPA. It's currently here. It uh, lacks uh, convective signature over the uh, eastern uh, quadrant of this LPA, but the western quadrant is bringing already some thunderstorms across uh, Cagayan Valley, particularly Cagayan, the uh, province of Cagayan, and uh, eastern portions of Isabela. So this will continue throughout uh, Monday until Wednesday uh, due to the approach of this uh, LPA. And uh, here in Bicol region, we might see some sunshine in the morning, but in the afternoon, evening, there might be some thunderstorms. But it depends. If uh, the development of this LPA continues to expand, we might be experiencing some thunderstorms during the morning, and uh, we might not see the sun shining. Okay, so that's only the uh, forecast that we are going to show to you right now. And uh, the southwest monsoon will still continue to bring on enough rainfall across uh, western Visayas and the uh, western sections of the Negros Island region. That's occidental, uh, uh, Negros Occidental, okay, and also uh, Calam, the province of Guimaras and Iloilo, western Panay, Palawan, and also across the western sections of Mindoro. Uh, Occidental uh, Mindoro, and also later on across Metro Manila and uh, parts of Calabar Zone, including the Bicol region. So here's the uh, uh, trough of uh, low pressure area 98W. Actually, it's embedded within the active monsoon trough. So uh, there will be some thunderstorms uh, throughout the next uh, two days. And here's the uh, latest from the Asian uh, agencies. These are all the uh, tracks of uh, Bibinka or Ferdi. And within the next 12 hours, it's likely to make landfall over or very close to metropolitan uh, Shanghai. So expect heavy winds and uh, uh, intense rainfall across these areas. And if we take a look at the latest on uh, Pulasan. So this is now the new name uh, that was upgraded by uh, JMA. Uh, this is now uh, formerly LPA 97W. It's now Pulasan. And uh, you can see GUS and Hong Kong is not yet uh, forecasting or giving out warnings because on their analysis, it's still a low pressure system. But uh, Japan, Beijing, Taiwan, and Korea already upgraded it as a tropical storm. So Pulasan is expected to follow the path of a tropical storm Bibinka. It might again enter briefly the Philippine area of responsibility within the next 48 hours. So that will be on uh, Tuesday evening. It might enter briefly and most likely if the system to the east of Luzon, the one here, becomes uh, Henner, this is likely to become tropical storm uh, Helen so watch out for the warnings from Bagasa throughout, web, 
through our website typhoon2000.ph so here's the uh, latest now from the European model uh, forecast uh, clock and winds by tomorrow afternoon the uh, uh, low pressure area 98W might become a tropical depression or even a tropical storm as it moves closer towards Gagayan while uh, Pulasan is now moving northward it's outside of the Philippine Air Responsibility this is the power line so this system will clock towards this direction while this one will move towards the West Philippine Sea it will traverse northern Luzon and uh, those uh, living along Cagayan Valley please take all necessary precautions for possible heavy rainfall thunderstorms that could produce landslides and flash floods across your region or province now here's the uh, forecast for Tuesday it will quickly traverse uh, northern Luzon it will uh, and it will uh, reorganize over to the west of Ilocos region and on late Tuesday it will now be a full-blown tropical storm over the West Philippine Sea so that will be the scenario and on Wednesday the system is starting to move towards uh, Hainan or northern Vietnam and here's the other one weakening as it passes over Okinawa so you can see here the southwest monsoon will still prevail today until uh, Wednesday and most likely on Thursday it will start to uh, uh, recede towards the west and it will just affect the western sections of Luzon okay so uh, this is uh, uh, what the forecast of the ECMWF says so we will uh, let you know within the next uh, two days but if it develops into a tropical cyclone tomorrow we will be issuing special coverage here at our YouTube channel as well as our uh, Facebook uh, page Mike Mr. Typhoon Padua here's the uh, ensemble tracks of the European model so here's uh, on the background at the back of this blue line that's the track of uh, uh, Typhoon Bebinka or Ferdi and here's now the forecast track of these two systems this one okay which is uh, Pulasan is expected to move generally towards the uh, Okinawa uh, similar to the track of Bibinka okay so that will be the track while the uh, other one to the east of uh, Cagayan Valley uh, which could become Hener it will uh, traverse quickly northern Luzon and by Tuesday it will reorganize here and become a uh, tropical storm so that will be the scenario let's hope that it will just bring uh, just the right amounts of rainfall across Cagayan Valley without any flooding so that will be the scenario of LPA 98W okay and at the far portion of the Western Pacific over Eastern Micronesia and the Marshall Islands it looks like there will be another system that we are going to observe this is just a low pressure system in the coming days so let's hope it will not become a tropical cyclone now let's take a look at the rain forecast for the next 24 hours beginning tomorrow Monday for the whole Monday we expect occasional monsoon rains across Mimropa particularly Occidental Mindoro Western Panay Guimaras Iloilo included and the uh, Occidental uh, Negros Occidental will be experiencing on and off rainfall because of the southwest monsoon or habagat and we expect wind gust of 40 up to 60 kph over these provinces also some passing rain showers and thunderstorms will also be expected over masbate western samar and western sections of southern Bicol that includes burias and uh, tikau island as well as the western coastal areas of Sursegon and Albay. While here, over the rest of the Bicol region, we expect some possible partly cloudy to uh, uh, possible showers or thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. And this is now the uh, uh, rainfall that will be uh, generated by 
Tropical LPA 98W and we expect 50 to 100 millimeters uh, to fall over Cagayan Valley within the next 24 hours that will be tomorrow Monday and if we move the slider on Tuesday you can clearly see here that there's still the effects of the cloudiness of LPA 98W as it traverses northern Luzon and it's likely to be uh, uh, it's likely to emerge over the West Philippine Sea somewhere here and it could develop into a tropical cyclone so the monsoon will still prevail over Mimaropa Western Visayas and Negros Island region and uh, uh, the rest of the Bicol region will now be experiencing some monsoon rains moving northward affecting Camarines provinces but uh, mostly this may be uh, only some passing showers and thunderstorms and uh, maybe in the afternoon or evening uh, this will be the scenario of this uh, monsoonal wind flow and on Wednesday um, September 18 the system over the West Philippine Sea is starting to move due west and the southwest monsoon is now expected to affect the western sections of uh, uh, Central Luzon including Metro Manila so that will be the scenario but still Occidental Mindoro will uh, feel the effects of the uh, southwest monsoon uh, through uh, Wednesday and on Thursday uh, September 19 the southwest monsoon will now retreat and it will be just affecting the western sections of uh, Ilocos region the western sections of central Luzon Bataan and occidental Mindoro the rest of Luzon will now see some improvement of the weather particularly on Friday most of the monsoonal wind flow are just concentrated along the coastal waters or coastal areas of western Luzon okay so that's the uh, forecast for the next uh, five days the rain forecast forecast accumulation and if you take a look at the wave heights it looks like uh, by tomorrow Monday we expect uh, wave heights of more than three meters here over the West Philippine Sea from Kalayan Island Group to the west coast of uh, Palawan and also over the western coastal areas of uh, Visayas and Sulu Archipelago wave heights of up to uh, 2.5 meters while 3 meters over the West Philippine Sea over the East Philippine Sea uh, there will be wave heights of up to uh, 2.5 meters because of the development of the LPA here east of uh, Cagayan while uh, uh, those uh, over the inland waters will still have light waves but there may be there, there might be some uh, moderate waves as well on Tuesday you can see that, that the, the system the LPA once it reaches the West Philippine Sea the wave heights here over the northern portions of the West Philippine Sea will reach a high of uh, uh, roughly this is around uh, 3.5 meters okay so uh, it's going to be uh, uh, choppy uh, seas throughout the week particularly on Wednesday as the system moves over the West Philippine Sea we expect wave heights of uh, up to 4 meters so very dangerous to small sea crabs fishing vessels okay so there you go that's the latest on the wave heights and that ends our update for today uh, for this evening it's uh, already 11 p.m. and we will return on Tuesday but if we, if, if the system east of uh, Cagayan becomes a tropical uh, cyclone we'll be issuing special coverage tomorrow on LPA 98W which could become Henair okay so uh, we will keep you updated soon this is Mike Padua saying good night to all have a great week ahead take care always and uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.